Alright, so I know this is a really early video for this week. I only did my last video like three days ago, three or four days ago. Um, but this video I've got to do, I'm going on holiday soon as well, so I'm not going to have a chance to do a video. Uh, it might be slightly late, so it's, I think it's better to go um, a little bit too early and a little bit too late. So, uh, yeah, something very large and uh, an issue has uh, suddenly uh, sprung along to the tank. Uh, and that's, um, as you can see by the title, Cyanobacteria, again. Actually, uh, I had this three months ago, uh, really bad, actually like severe. This is, to be honest, I think this is worse, and this is this only kicked off like a few days ago. And the yeah, the last time I had it, it was yeah, it was three months ago, and it was also mixed in with dinoflagellates as as well as cyanobacteria. Uh, so that's that that it was it was really really bad. Um, so I'm just going to talk about how I'm going to get rid of this. Uh, it's obviously come along from. Um, I'm pretty sure it's elevated nutrients in the tank, although nitrates are pretty low, they're only at 3, but I think it's the phosphates being a little bit slightly ele elevated to 0 0.09. Uh, ideally I would like it about the 0 0.4, 0 0.5 area, uh, so I think that might be it. Also mixed in with slightly overdosing Vibrant, which if we go into the cabinet is this Vibrant, it mops up algae in the tank. Uh, and I was doing 7 mil a day, I've now reduced that to, no not 7 mil a day, 7 mil a week and now I've gone down to 3, three mil a week uh, so that's um, that's one of the things I'm going to do to uh, try and resolve this cyanobacteria as quickly as possible uh, that's reducing the dose of Vibrant uh, second thing is water changes, increasing water changes, I was doing them like what once every like month or so, maybe six weeks or something, um, where whenever I needed to do them, whenever nutrients were slightly elevated, uh, I would just uh, do a water change, but now I'm probably going to end up doing them weekly now for the next, uh, well, week or two, uh, depends how long how long this thing goes on for. So I did a water change yesterday actually, uh, so that should bring my phosphates down roughly half, because I did a 60% water change on this tank. So that's 60 litres, well, the, well roughly, um, this tank is a little over 100 litres, about 110, 115-ish. Uh, so I, did, I took 60 litres out and then put 60 litres back in, that should reduce it, my phosphates by quite a bit. So if we get a closer look on the rocks, you can see all this red, slimy, stringy stuff, literally on every speck of the rock. It's not suffocating the corals, this is probably the worst it is on a coral, this is a sewer, and that's really not, it's not bad enough to, to kill it or anything, so I think the corals will be fine. Uh, they were okay last time, they didn't seem to have a uh, really bad reaction to it. You can see it's also in the sand, you can see the red here and the red down that little alley down there. Right, so yeah, so, in, uh, decrease uh, dose of Vibrant, um, multiple water changes every week at least. Uh, also increasing the maintenance of the protein skimmer. Uh, I'm going to be cleaning this out every, nearly every day, maybe every other day. I'm going to be uh, emptying it, cleaning the, cleaning the neck out. Also the sponge in the filter, in the uh, internal filter box in there, the sponge. I'm going to be replacing that, well cleaning it out every other day, I think. Uh, so that's how quickly it kind of gets clogged up. Uh, and it gets clogged up really quick because I am also, this is a turkey base, so I use it to uh, pump uh, for all the sand and that, but I'm doing it on the rocks and the sand a little bit, because it's in the sand as well, isn't it? Uh, so I'm pumping that, or everything everything in the, in the tank, uh, nearly twi well, once or twice a day, whenever I can, really, uh, to try and get it all up, kick kicked off uh, off the rocks and down that overflow uh, down there and onto the sponge, and then I remove the sponge and get it all out. Um, so that's what I'm going to be doing to try and reduce this. Uh, last resort really uh, would be a three day blackout, which is what I did last time and that's what completely knocked it out. Uh, but I don't want to have to do that really because it's quite annoying to, um, well, for starters, seeing a tank with ca like cardboard wrapped around it for three days is, um, is you know, it's not something I want to do. Uh, and the corals, obviously, they're not getting any light, no energy for three days. It won't kill them. Um, May they may be slightly unhappy for the day after, but I mean the last time I did it, they didn't seem to have much of a, a bad reaction to it at all. Uh, so I think they're going to be fine. If I was to go down that road, but I think what I'm doing is going to knock this out in a week or two. Um, 
but yeah, um, I'm going to give it a week or two. If if it doesn't reduce at all, then yeah, last resort um, is going to be that blackout. Uh, if we look down here, there's a massive sludge of it in the uh, in the sand down this corner. Uh, it's very bubbly. You can look at that. That is that is bad. That look on the frag rack. Those are very bubbly. I've only only pumped that off a few hours ago, maybe two or three hours ago. I, I did the whole pump of, of of all the rocks, all the sand, and everything, and it's come back. Um, so I'm gonna have to replace uh, that sponge out later tonight or tomorrow morning. Uh, it's annoying I'm going on holiday. It's not for long though. It's only for a few days, uh, but. I reckon I could knock this thing out quite quick. I do have some experience in this, so hopefully we can get this out as soon as possible. Because it's really, it's re the tank does look completely different. The rocks looks really horrible. Uh, the corals could suffocate in it. Um, luckily, I don't have any uh, Mexican, t well, any um, snails in there at the moment, but at all now because I took them out and put them in my dad's tank. Remember, because they were getting really, really annoying. I uh, moved my corals and that, so I just uh, moved on to uh, Vibrant uh, to rely on the algae reduction. Um, so yeah, mega, literally out of the blue. Uh, I thought the uh, the tank was seriously starting to uh, start starting to uh, turn around slowly, uh, maybe s starting to get a little bit more growth on stuff. But no, as, as, as soon as everything's starting to uh, look good, something comes along and just uh, you know breaks it all up. Uh, but it is very common, first year of uh, your reef tank, it's really, it's not very mature, you're going to get this stuff. Um, it's ridiculously rare to not have an algae explosion of some sort or some kind of problem within the first year. Uh, but as soon as you get that year, past that year mark, uh, tank kind of starts taking care, of, taking care of itself, nutrients start to become a little bit more controlled, uh, and the bacteria in the biological media uh, starts to uh, really populate and starts to have an effect on the tank positively um, so yeah just a sh uh, short video I just had to do this um, before I go away uh, so I will uh, update you with next week uh, to see what happens uh, with the tank see how uh, how much it reduces so if we uh, if we take a quick look around the tank now uh, if you just remember take a good look at the tank see how it was and then if we check it in a week's time on next week's video and we'll see uh, if it reduces or not, I think it would have done. Alright, so yeah, um, yeah, tank's not looking that great at the moment. So I'll, I'll see you. Um, I'll see you guys next week with fingers crossed, an improvement. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll see you next week, guys. Bye.